So it looks like shit has finally hit the fan for Mark Zuckerberg. Uh, British MPs have formally asked him to appear before Parliament and to explain this data mining operation that was going on with this consulting firm named Cambridge Analytica that might have ties to Russia. And they may have called information for more than 50 million users. And as one Reddit user uh, pointed out after the news dropped, he said, this is only one example of how um, a rich entity or a rich power, any oligarch, can achieve the same ends and buy the same information. So Mark is very famous for saying they trust me, dumb fucks. That is a direct, it's not taken out of context. It's a direct quote based on should you trust him with your information? And it, he sort of looks at it that way. Like he's an extremely, and I'm going to get a little personal here. I don't know him personally. I'm going to get a little personal anyway. I, I think he's reptilian and not in that, you know, direct literal sense. I think he operates from the reptile center of his brain. I think he just, try, he looks at emotion and the way his actions make him feel or the way that he can witness his actions affecting others. He just lets that kind of bounce off him. He sees it as an obstacle to his own success. And I kind of based that on reading the book The Social Network was based on, uh, The Accidental Billionaires. And I really highly recommend people read that because it's based on court depositions. And I like to say that uh, Mark lost every single one of those civil suits pre-Facebook and around the founding of Facebook. Mark lost every single one. And do you know what Mark's review of The Social Network is? No comment. To this day. It's when people say, what is your review of the film, Mark? No, no comment with that Kermity little voice of his. I won't really attempt an impression. Um, but, you know, people were pointing out these little things recently, like how he stages all his photos to appear taller. He's 5'7", but he uses this photo blocking technique to appear like he's the same height as taller men. And this, it's just like this weird, weird, weird controlling of his image, you know, and how important his image is to him and... Um, it's all he's about. It's all he's about. It's like, and I hate to invoke Martin Shkreli, but they're very similar in terms of how they are come off in the media and the sort of persona they put forward to the media. And, you know, I, I don't understand what leg they think they're standing on. Like when they just kind of go like, ha ha ha, well, you know, you shouldn't have trusted me in the first place, dumb fucks. Like, really, dude, that's your contribution to humanity. That's just the kind of person you are. And I've been saying this for years and people kept telling me like, oh, don't judge and whatnot. And I'm like, no, if you read like the civil suits that this guy's been involved in, he gets, you know, he didn't have a leg to stand on in any of them. Like Divi Narendra and the Winklevi, the Winklevoss twins, like he, he paid them off for 65 million. Uh, he owed Eduardo Severin 1.5 billion and he had to keep his name on the masthead for a certain number of years. Um, and who knows how many other people he's had to pay off and shut up and, you know, just to take all the credit. And so that Mark Zuckerberg is Facebook at the end of the day. Because he operates like a Lex Luthor or something. He operates with that level of, uh, I don't know, egocentric nihilism. And uh, it's really common where he's from in that whole Palo Alto clique. You know, it's so common to just be like, aren't we so much better than all of those proles that buy our software? <laughs> and it's this pathetic, like, no, you're not. You're these wispy, pale, gender fluid weirdos that just think you're better than everyone because you're swifter with a computer. You know, are you swifter with social interaction? Are you swifter with social grace? Are you swifter with being a complete human being? No, not really. But you know, Python and Perl. So they think they're the master race. <laughs> and they're like, they're more like Rain Man. Like I've said in another video, it's like they're savants. It's like they're really smart in that one tiny little coding, very highly specified area of existing. But in every other facet, they're completely and totally maladjusted. And so they kind of lash out at the world in their attempts for success, like Mark does, like and I think I've been waiting for Mark to be held accountable for his crimes against humanity. You know, that's what I call this. People say that he's being brought against or being brought up for data mining and whatnot and possibly treason. Maybe that's the worst he could possibly face is someone saying that his dealings with the Russians were treasonous. But let's call it crimes against humanity. Facebook is a crime against humanity. 
You know, and the way he ran it is a crime against humanity. The way that he sold all your information to the highest bidder. Like that, everything about Facebook, people's dependency on it, and how it was run is a disgrace. And Mark is a disgrace. He's a disgusting person. And it's about time that people like him were held accountable for being garbage. And that people like me aren't like told, oh, who are you to judge? You know, people who put more effort into their character are better people, period. You can listen to other channels like Paul uh, from Pockets of the Future who says like, no, even people who put decades of effort into their character, they're not, they're still not better than anyone else. Eh, eh. You know, people that act in a more socially integral, humanitarian, like selfless, golden rule centered sort of way, they're better than people who don't. They're better than Mark Zuckerberg. It's about time that Mark Zuckerberg was finally held accountable for being an asshole.